my name is Dr. Gene Orlowski. I'm a chiropractor from San Marino, California. And uh, the miracle story that I would like to tell you is about a little boy named Damien. Uh, I was speaking at Parker Seminars with one of my longtime friends, Dr. Willie Kindred from Tempe, Arizona. And uh, about two days after seminar, Willie called me and asked me if I would be able to look at his niece's little boy. And he told me the story that uh, little Damien was a four-year-old who slipped on the back step and landed on the cement on the back of his head. He fractured his skull and had brain damage to the cerebellum and the brain stem. Uh, he'd been in a coma for about two or three weeks down at, uh, at uh, Children's Hospital in Orange County. And his grandfather was a rehabilitation nurse who took care of stroke victims. Mm -hmm. So his grandfather got family members to take this little boy and start doing cross crawl with him, moving his arms and his legs, trying to get the uh, brain stimulated. And uh, Damien came out of his coma. Uh, Damien had a paralyzed left arm with his hand uh, rolled up in a ball. He couldn't use it at all, couldn't move it. Uh, he couldn't walk because his cerebellum was damaged. Uh, he had equilibrium problems and couldn't walk. Uh, his, his left leg was also slightly weakened. He drooled, they fed him through a G-tube, and uh, he had been this way for about four to six weeks uh, before he came to my office. The day his grandfather brought him in, uh, he had him by the scruff of the neck, his feet were just kind of lollygagging along, and when he let go of him, he fell on the floor. And the day that he was in the office for his first visit, the CEO of one of Los Angeles' largest hospitals was in the waiting room for his regular maintenance chiropractic adjustment. And uh, after my consultation with Damien, the CEO of the hospital said, what are you gonna do for this kid? And I said, I have no idea. I'm gonna just examine him and see if there's something I can do with him. And I told him he had permanent brain damage. And uh, I didn't know what we could do for him. I didn't know if we could help him at all, but we figured we would try. And we did the consultation and got the history and uh, did an examination on him and he definitely had permanent neurological uh, damage. And uh, my report of findings to the parents was that I don't know if we can help him or not, let's take him on a trial period of care and see how he responds. Mm -hmm. So they brought me in about 20 pounds of MRIs and CT scans and x-rays and we looked at it and one of the things that we saw was his first cervical vertebrae was tilted and jammed over to the left and his head was turned to the left and twisted and he had a slight smile on his face and just drooled. Uh, he, he could not track you with his eyes. He didn't pay attention. Uh, he was there, but he wasn't there. And uh, we started adjusting Damien. We saw him twice a week and within four weeks he could balance. He could almost walk two or three steps. Uh, his drooling had improved, but the most important thing is his cognition improved. And he started speaking, although he, he, you couldn't understand him. Uh, he started speaking with like, and you, could know, you knew what he was saying because his mother could figure out what he was saying, but you couldn't understand him. He was fed by a G-tube three times a day in his stomach mm -hmm. and could not swallow. And so as we started working with Damien, his progress was amazing. At four years old, you know, we knew he had permanent brain damage, but the amazing thing at four years old, as this boy grew, he continued to get better and better and better. And uh, we worked with him for about a year, twice a week. And I presented this case at uh, Parker Chiropractic College in October of last year and showed some before and after pictures of Damien. Damien can open his left hand and move it. He's eating without a G-tube. He's not drooling anymore. He's in occupational therapy. He's going to school. He still has trouble walking, but with braces, he can walk and balance by himself. And it looks like not only will he be a productive human being, although he has his disability, he is, he is dynamic, he is smart, uh, he is as lovable as can be. Uh, he starts my day twice a week with a hug, and he's just an absolutely fabulous little boy, and the fact that he is Moving, walking, talking, eating, swallowing is an absolute.